everyone. We hope you are doing well. We just wanted to touch bases with you regarding our plans for our phase one reopening of in-person services. And we have been monitoring the infection rates for COVID here in the South Florida area very closely. And praise God, we're happy to announce that since the beginning of September, the positivity rate has been below 3%. And one of the main benchmarks that the CDC emphasizes for the reopening of schools and various other entities that require gathering is that the positivity rate would be below 5% for at least 14 days. So we have certainly met that requirement here in Broward County and that is what has given us the uh, go-ahead to be able to uh, host in-person services. So after speaking with several of our leaders, we've decided to move forward with our phase one reopening plans. Of course, we will need to be flexible in the event that there is another resurgence here in our community. But our phase one reopening will begin on Sunday, October the 18th. We can't wait to see you. We will be reopening in-person services on Sundays at 11 a.m. only. We will continue to live stream our 11 a.m. service and all other services will remain by live stream only. Our Children's Church will not be hosting in-person services when we first reopen. Children's Church will remain on Zoom as it has been since the beginning of the pandemic and all other ministries will also remain on Zoom and we encourage you to get connected with all of our ministries by Zoom. We'll, uh, as I said, continue live streaming all of our services because if you are in one of the uh, vulnerable groups of the population, such as those that are 65 years of age or above, or if you have an underlying health condition, we love you enough to ask you to stay home. Stay home, tune in with us, watch our live stream. We want you to be safe, we want you to be healthy. Of course, when we reopen church, things will look a little bit different than they did before the pandemic. We'll be practicing social distancing. So we ask you that you would please stay six feet apart at all times when you're lined up out front to get your health screening, uh, when you are uh, entering in the hallways and finding your seat. We ask you that you would maintain that six foot distance, that you would not congregate in the hallways. We will also be accommodating social distancing in our seating arrangement. Every other row will be taped off. Families may sit together, but we ask that you would skip three seats between non-family members. We also ask that you would stay in your seats as much as possible. Please do not come forward to the altars. And at the end of the service, when we're dismissed, we ask that you would please remain in your seats and wait to be dismissed by sections in order to avoid crowding in the hallways or at the exits. When you are dismissed, we ask that you would please go directly to your vehicle. I know this is going to be very difficult for us to get used to initially because we're such a warm and loving church and we enjoy to fellowship with one another so much. But these are the very things that we need to intentionally avoid in order to keep one another safe. So please, when the service is dismissed, go ahead and go straight to your vehicle and catch up with one another uh, by phone, by text, by Skype, by Zoom. Uh, keep those connections strong with one another, but do it in a safe way. We also ask that everyone age five and above would wear a mask throughout the entire service. And the proper way to wear a mask is to cover both your nose and your mouth. If you're not covering both your nose and your mouth, then the mask is of no benefit to you or anyone else. So please make sure that you wear a mask covering both your nose and your mouth throughout the entire service. Research indi indicates that if everyone is wearing a mask, then it reduces the chance of spreading the virus by 70%. That's a big deal. Only those ministering on the platform will be unmasked while they minister. Everyone else will need to wear a mask at all times from the moment they exit their vehicle until the time that they return to their vehicle. Wearing a mask, science shows, is for your own protection as well as everyone else's. Thank you for your cooperation in advance because wearing a mask is an act of love for those around you. When you're entering, everyone will have their temperature checked and answer a short health screening before entering the building. We encourage you to come at least 15 minutes early so that you can have your health screening and get in, into the church building in time for the service to begin. Our services will be touchless. There'll be no physical greetings. There'll be no hugs, no handshakes, no passing of offering bags, 
no materials distributed, and doors will be propped open. Of course, we ask that if you are experiencing flu-like symptoms such as fever, cough, headache, shortness of breath, breath or sore, sore throat, that out of love for your brothers and sisters in Christ, that you would please stay home until you are completely better and have no symptoms. If you have been exposed to someone who has tested positive uh, for COVID-19 within the past 14 days of your attendance, we ask that you would stay home. Once you have been exposed to someone who has tested positive, you need to stay home for at least 14 days to make sure that you have not uh, gotten the virus. That's the incubation period. We ask that you would diligently follow all of these protocols. Uh, these are safety guidelines to help keep everyone safe and healthy, and that is one of our top priorities. We are looking forward to be able to worship together with you in person, but we want to keep everybody healthy and safe. We love you. We can't wait to worship together with you, and we're going to have a great time when we gather together for our first in-person service, and it will be a wonderful day of celebration as we worship the Lord together in person. God bless you. We look forward to seeing you on October the 18th.